Project one by Joe Cerrone. We're going to work on this stackable junk tray, and this is from our chapter eight, module eight of CAD 118, Advanced AutoCAD. The instructions are right here. You can download those, and you can create the part model in either inch units or metric units. I'm going to download geometry for the inch units and I'm going to open that. And you can see I have the geometry right here. If I click on it and right click and do a quick properties, we can see that that's a polyline. And then we'll take a look at our instructions here. And so in our instructions we have downloaded the project one inch .dwg file and it looks just like that. We're going to switch to a southeast isometric conceptual view and then we're going to extrude the model 3.150 inches. And change the color of the model. I'm going to 3D rotate it. Any degrees. Notice that I'm using polar tracking. You could also use ortho as the author has recommended. Continuing. We can save the file as stackable junk tray. And then we can shell this with a distance of 0.394. We'll remove this face and this face, like 0.394. And exit. We'll then create the cylinder in the bottom corner at the height of the object, and the size of that is a radius of 0.394. You can see that my dynamic object snap grabbed that, and so I'm going to try that again. Dynamic UCS, I'm going to disable. I'm going to try that again. And then what it has us do is move this from the quadrant to the end point. And so we'll move it. quadrant to the end point. Then we'll copy it.
We'll create another copy at a distance of 2.756 in this x-axis direction. We'll use this as a base point and then we'll just track it along this direction. Type 2.756. We'll hit the escape key. We'll union these components together. And then we'll create these cylinders here. And these cylinders will have a radius of 0.9. 197 and a height of 0.394. Now I'm going to turn the dynamic O snap back on. Dynamic UCS. We're going to copy that, and we're going to copy it into those other four places. Sometimes I may need to change this to a wireframe. As long as we're copying, we might as well bring it to the other areas as well on the bottom here. All right, now that we've copied those, we're going to subtract those. So we'll select the large shape, hit enter, and then these other shapes. I'm going to do this in wireframe. Keep it from jumping around. All right, we can verify that. Continuing. We'll create this solid cylinder. And we'll use the bottom of that whole location to create that. And let's make it a different color. 
So I'm going to go to the home, make a new layer. We're going to make it a height of 5.118. And then we can copy that to the other locations. Then we'll place the top. And save that. They show a little bit about changing the visual styles. This is like the sketchy visual style. We can put this onto a title block and save the file. And that completes this video tutorial.